What's up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the effortlessly effervescent Dr. Disaster, and I think it's time to bust out the three words that are the most fun to say in the English language. Oh, what a loser! Close, but that wasn't quite what I was going for here. I told you! Yep. I told you! There it is, the old I told ya. Because despite all the media doing their damnedest to protect their corporate masters at Disney and Ubisoft, valid criticism continues to trickle out on this Star Wars Outlaws game. You know which one I'm talking about. The one featuring the character who looks like the love child of Rosie O'Donnell and Swamp Thing. What are you? Very ugly. me hearties, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter where I keep a list of games like Star Wars Outlaws, games that are lousy with woke and DEI crap pinned to my account at all times, my handle over there is Dr. Disaster one Anyhow, it has been evident for the past few months, ever since they started releasing information about this game, that Star Wars Outlaws was going to be a mess. The first clue was obviously the fact that it was being produced by Ubisoft. That company is poison for games these days. My, how the mighty have fallen. But beyond that, it was clear that this game would suck the second that we saw that they were taking a character model that looked like this, and they made the actual character look like this. Gross. Last month, we learned more about the gameplay. Several reviewers said the combat was too easy, and now we have got another complaint. One of the big selling points for the game was how massive the worlds were for players to explore, but now we are learning that the game is, quote, relatively small compared to Starfield. Star Wars Outlaws is already disappointing fans as new information points to a smaller Ubisoft experience. This article comes to us from Fandom Wire. It says, Star Wars Outlaws is close to its release, and although the gameplay reveals have received mixed reception so far, basically it's been a mixture of people giving it blind praise just because it's a Disney product, and then a handful of people actually talking about the gameplay and pointing out that it's too easy and terrible. Well, anyway, fans have decent expectations for the game. Do they, though? Have you seen the ratio on the trailers for this game? However, one detail about the game that was unveiled recently has left fans scratching their heads. The upcoming game, which has been confirmed to have five planets, will be smaller than players might think. To be precise, players will be able to cross three planets out of the five in just under five minutes on a speeder, which is very small when compared to the planets available in Starfield. whoop de doo Yeah, whoop de doo indeed. That is pretty damned small for a game that costs over a hundred dollars if you want to play the whole thing. That is ridiculously tiny. A game like Skyrim that came out almost a decade and a half ago, that is much larger than what we're talking about here. The old Fallout titles are much bigger. Hell, the old school Assassin's Creed games from Ubisoft themselves were bigger than this. It sounds to me like these guys put together a lazy, shoddy product. And after some coping from the writer, trying to convince people that maybe it's a good thing that the world is small in this game because somehow exploration gets tedious, even though that is one of the main selling points of open worlds, but somehow that's going to be a good thing, that you don't have to explore very much. But anyhow, after that cope, they acknowledge that Ubisoft has been struggling lately. 
down at the bottom there, it says Ubisoft has been having a rough period for the past couple of years. The industry giants have dominated the gaming scene for a long period, but recent flops from them have turned the tide for the worse. Last year alone, the company faced a staggering loss of half a million euros. We're going to pause real quick. That's a typo, I'm assuming. It wasn't half a million, it was half a billion with a B. They lost damn near half a billion euros last year, and I expect it to be a shit year for them again in 2024 as well. But anyhow, the article says, This ultimately led to the layoffs of many employees. Furthermore, the initial response to Star Wars Outlaws gameplay has not convinced many fans, adding salt to the wound. Fans feel the game looks very one-dimensional and follows a linear path similar to other Ubisoft games. Many have also compared the game to recent Far Cry games, and there is no quality that makes Star Wars Outlaws a standout. Regardless, the pressure will be on the game to perform, as another failure for Ubisoft will only make matters worse. Worse? How could they get any worse? Take a look around you, Ellen! We're at the threshold of hell! I mean, it almost can't get much worse for Ubisoft at this point. If they don't get it right with this game and with Assassin's Creed Shadows this year, they could very well be looking at a buyout from the likes of Microsoft or someone like them. But I'm gonna leave it there. What do you think about all this? Are you planning to buy Star Wars Outlaws or are you avoiding it like Superman, avoiding a kryptonite suppository? In all fairness, I'm pretty sure everyone would avoid that, not just Superman. But anyhow, drop your thoughts in the comment section below and we will talk there. Thanks for watching me hearties. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.